It has been a difficult few months for Marion County restaurants. First, they had to shut down during the coronavirus pandemic. And then they had to close early when Marion County had curfews last week. Well, tonight, Fox 59's Mike Sullivan talks with business owners about how they're looking forward to moving forward. Where do we go from here? Man, that's uh, the question on everyone's mind, I guess. Marion County restaurants for surviving coronavirus. We were shut down for an additional two weeks. Only to be limited by curfews during weeks of protest. We're dealing with a national tragedy. There's, there's a lot of anger downtown and rightly so. Michael Cranfill is the proprietor of District Tap. To take the entire county and make it apply by the rule I think is, is a bit much. His restaurant has two locations, downtown and Keystone. On the north side, they had to cancel a private party Friday. You know, we don't want to get in trouble for violating the curfew. Yet on numerous occasions, peaceful protests were allowed to continue past 8 p.m. I do think it's necessary. I think it's protecting uh, the peaceful protesters and protecting the message. Cranfill is starting a project to encourage people to show up and listen to protesters, all while mourning the loss of his friend Chris Beatty, who was shot and killed during the riots. Across the plywood that's on the front of our restaurant, uh, on uh, Georgia and South Meridian, um, we, I put uh, peace for Beatty, um, and I'm hoping that he's going to be an inspirational force to bring healing and calm. 90% of our staff has gone down to protest for sure. At Kingdo near downtown. We see like the barricades from our street. Adam Sweet telling his customers no orders past 715. I think the curfews were pretty pointless personally. Again, like they were very specific to downtown. For 48 hours, all sales of their margarita pizzas went to people arrested during the protests. The bail project we donated about 2002. This, while they still recover from COVID loss. The industry that everybody's used to and comfortable with is gone. Sweet believing it could be a year before normalcy returns to in-house dining. Delivery and carry out is in the DNA of pizza. It's like we've honestly lucked out big time. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Now, Mayor Hogsett tells us there are no plans for additional curfew restrictions in Indianapolis.